Hi, this is Zach Mir from Master Investor with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Friday the 23rd of January. Starting off with Enquest where there was a big jump to the start of the day. Uh, we hit the 50 day moving average at 43 pence. That's normally the, uh, the line in the sand or the resistance line in terms of uh, uh, retracements within a downtrend. So that's happened here, sort of classic manoeuvre. It's also a failure below the old resist, old support that the shares had well above 60p in November. So this looks like a bear trap uh, or a dead cap bounce initially. Um, the, obvious, the obvious thing here in, in terms of tr turning the situation around in a sort of uh, uh, sustained manner would be an end of day close or an end of week close back above this uh, 10, uh, this uh, 50 day moving average and also the uh, top of this October descending price channel. So some work to be done there. If you're keen on sort of uh, buying the dip here, probably the 20 day moving average at 31 pence would be the favoured destination. Uh, there's a possibility that this is the end of the uh, the downtrend here because we've had this uh, unfilled gap to the upside here in the 20. So that is that was a positive and that did actually flag uh, the start of a potential uh, move to the upside. And uh, really one would be looking for uh, uh, consolidation in the 30s probably. Uh, even if uh, we don't actually get the, the big push through uh, to turn the stock around uh, over the near term. Uh, next up is a stock which was uh, a favourite of mine last year, uh, did quite well, at least uh, initially. Uh, the 25 pence target was actually one of the targets that uh, uh, mapped out quite well uh, at the beginning of September. Since then, we've been in consolidation mode, a rather nasty unfill gap to the downside here uh, at, at the end of November, and that's really sort of still overshadowing the price action. Uh, the good news here, though, I suppose overall is that we've got support coming in uh, above uh, the former June uh, resistance, which was around the five pence level. And we also have the 200 day moving average still rising. Uh, and that looks as though that could actually be enough to drag the shares higher, possibly as soon as next month. Uh, there is a support line here which you could buy against towards 9 pence with a stop loss just below that level. And we've also had a higher low for January versus December as well, which is uh, helpful. Um, probably the best way forward here, though, is to wait for a, an end of day close back above the 200 day moving average of 10.72 pence shown here in black. Uh, and that would then target 15 pence plus over the following month. Fitting off, uh, finishing off rather with uh, Sable Mining, here we see the... Uh, a rather painful looking uh, perspective of the last six to eight months, uh, sort of painful uh, uh, breakdown for the shares from 10 pence plus uh, beginning of last year. But there is uh, some encouragement here, as I, was, I said about um, Enquest earlier on, 50 day moving average is key in terms of extended downtrends. It looks like uh, Sable Mining is actually going to break its uh, 50 day line on a sustained basis. Uh, that's currently running around the 0.88 pence level. And uh, really, while we're above that, we can have an end, end of week close above that one would be relatively optimistic about the shares prospects, uh, possibly a return to 1.5 pence or 2 pence uh, over the next four to six weeks. Stop loss on the buy argument. Well, I'd say probably back below the 20 day moving average, 0 0.74 uh, would be safe uh, because obviously these these situations near the, near the bottom or at the end of the range tend to get rather more volatile. It also may be worth looking at this initial uh, high of um, uh, of January uh, as a uh, sort of a, an area to trade off that was at 0.94 so a decent close above that as well in addition to the 50 day moving average uh, today would be helpful that's it from me more updates at masterinvestor.co.uk